So something else to keep in mind when we're navigating the ship, the left side of the ship is considered the port side. So this is the direction of the ship. The left side is considered port side, the right side is considered starboard side. And uh, we're currently midship where there's really not a whole lot of anything except for the fact that right there is where you go to the tendering port. And that side as well. And there's a hospital. Yeah, well, that's I think further back that way. Yeah. That's in the front of but the ship, forward. We're not going to walk all the way. It's just the same as this. Correct. So the health center's in the forward of the ship. Yes. We don't need to go that way. So we're going to go up to level two now. Here we are on deck two midship. And now we're looking toward the aft. And this way is toward Enchanted Gardens. But before we go to Enchanted Gardens, on the left is going to be the Vista Gallery. The Vista Gallery is where you can actually purchase pictures and paintings right here. I think on the Dream they had this over where the Tiffany and Company store is, but these you can actually purchase. And this is Enchanted Gardens, straight ahead. And they're about setting up for dinner. But they've got really cool portraits on the side, and the ceiling actually changes color based on what time in the dinner it is. But we don't have dinner right now. We have the late dinner, so we're going to go out. We're going to go up to midship level 3, where the atrium is. So we're going to take this steps up. Where they're jamming out to music right now. Cool flute. So this is Royal Court. This is where we'll be eating two nights out of the week. Now we're shifting over to starboard side. This is starboard side. This is the atrium. On level three, looking forward, aft is back this way. This is where we came on. We came in here, guest services is over here. So now we're gonna head back so now we're back on port side and you've got Bon Voyage Bar straight ahead here on the left this is Bon Voyage Bar really cool Cinderella mural and now we're heading onto the port side, level three, Mickey's mainsail, where they've got Marvel. This is all Mickey's mainsail. Mickey's mainsail all the way over to here. All right, so let's check out the Walt Disney Theater. Mickey's mainsail continues here on the left, and then you've got the Walt Disney Theater straight ahead. You've got preludes, preludes here where you can buy popcorn and drinks for the show. Those are not complimentary though, you do need to pay for them. There's another preludes over here as well. Back here at the Walt Disney Theater. We just went down that hallway, saw Preludes in the Walt Disney Theater. Now we're back here, and we're gonna take a walk past Whitecaps and back toward the atrium, toward midship. So they have the really high-end jewelry and colognes and watches and white caps. And this is your Bulgari, Bulgari store. I think I said that right, maybe. And then you've got guest services here on the starboard side. So now there's Bon Voyage Bar. This is the atrium, we're still on level three. That staircase takes you down to level two Enchanted Gardens, which is there and directly above that is the Cinderella Royal Court. We're gonna make a right down here and head to Animator's Palette, which is located all the way in the back, the aft of the ship. So on this hallway back to Animator's Palette, you've got another entrance to the Cinderella Royal Court, right here. We are now midship, 
still on deck three. And animators pallets all the way down here in the aft. So now we are at animators pallet, which is right here. And they are now doing the early dining for animators pallet straight in there. But we'll tag a video on that of us eating there. Oh, looks like it's the exit to animators pallet. So now we are at the top step, so that's down to level 3, we're on level 4 now midship, and we're going to walk starboard side, which is the captain's right hand side. So you got DVC right here, and if you want to plan a future cruise, you come here. Here is the balcony. That is where the royal court is, and you take that way to go to Animator's Palette, which is way down there. Directly beneath the stairs is Enchanted Gardens, which is directly beneath the royal court. But right now, we are going to walk to the Vista Cafe. So we got the Vista Cafe, where if you want to get a cup of coffee early in the morning, it does smell good. Sometimes you'll see characters meet on this level. I know Captain Mickey likes to meet right in this area overlooking the atrium. Tiffany Diamond Store. And now over here is Shutters, and Shutters is uh, like Photo Pass, but for a cruise ship, but it's not Disney controlled. So as a point of reference, this is where we came in, Royal Court Restaurant that way. And we were standing over there a second ago. We came around the Vista Cafe. Shutters is here. And now we're going to walk this direction. As we are walking toward the forward of the ship. There's shutters. There's the midship elevators. You'll notice a trend that there's always an elevator shaft in, there's three of them. There's one in the forward, one in the midship, and one in the aft. So we just passed the midship, heading to the forward, and this is the Buena Vista Theater. This is where you're going to go to see movies. I think you wanna... Let's check it out. So this is the movie theater on board. It's, pretty. it's very pretty. It's very spacious, too. This is where we will watch Endgame over and over again. <laughs> they do have a what's showing list up on a teleprompter here. I see Endgame. That's not long. <laughs> no. Yeah. Looks like they've got some of the new live action Aladdin sneak peek preview. That sounds pretty cool. 15 minutes. Yeah. Alrighty. Yep. And continue going to the forward. This is where you'd get your popcorn and snacks. So we just came from this way. The Buena Vista Theater is on the left here. Now, this is the port side, or the left-hand side. And right here is the Walt Disney Theater, which is currently closed off right now, but this is where you would typically see your nightly entertainment. And then there's interactive Things. art. Come to life, Walt. There he is, drawing. This is different. Oops. That looks like Goofy to me. So now we're going to go into the forward elevators. So we are on deck four of the forward elevators. And let's just take a quick peek. There's the other entrance to the Walt Disney Theater. And there's Mickey, ready for a show. Hi, buddy. But before we go up a level, let's go check out the outside. So. Now we're on deck four. We're still on the same deck, but this is a racetrack that pretty much goes around the entire ship. You'll see this is Vibe Entrance, and it's down this alley. And <laughs> I know, right? And the Walt Disney Theater is actually on that side. So Vibe is all the way in the forward part and up the steps into vibe.
<laughs> oh, Donald. Oh, it went away. I guess. Oh, there's Donald. This is cool. Is this neat? Oh, wow. That is pretty cool. That's pretty neat. It's a good use of this, like, empty space up here. He was lounging out. That's pretty relaxing. Mario Kart on the big screen. Guitar Hero. Movie Night. Is that comfy? Oh yeah. It's, yeah. Go watch Spider Man. Oh yeah, that is cool. It's like a movie theater. So I guess they have a DJ that comes here and plays music because they've got the little disco ball up at the top. Hey! So Vibe has their own deck right at the very front part of the ship. It's pretty cool. In their own jacuzzi and pool. That's the command bridge. And directly above that is Census Spa. And you've got some porthole rooms directly beneath that. And it looks like they got their own little snack bar over there. It's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool experience. Yeah. I and it's like it. all the way back there. <laughs> it's very secluded. Go them. <laughs> yes. So now we're back into the midship. Back this way is where the Tiffany store is and earlier we went straight and then made a right because this is shutters here we're actually going to make a left now and go check out the adult entertainment area which is called europa so now we're going to head back to europa we're actually headed to the aft of the ship on the port side and we got our tiffany store the second entrance is back toward midship this is d lounge this is where a lot of activities are actually played like bingo and whatnot so this is d lounge there's a lot of activities that are done here bingo karaoke and whatnot this is where some of the excursions meet so yes the sometimes excursion meetups are actually here in d lounge i'm not sure if one of our excursions that we have planned meet up here but i know that this is a meeting spot for some of them but we're gonna head back out and we're gonna make a left we're going back to the port side, which is the captain's left, and we're going to go, oh yes, so there you go, bingo, bingo, Marvel oh, trivia, oh, we're going, we're going to that, that's happening at 9.30, totally, Marvel trivia, all right, now we're heading back to Europa, Europa's the adult area, it's family during the day, but at night it turns into adult entertainment. We're going to go check it out real quick because the rooms are very small, but they're themed. There's four of them. It's really the only difference between this ship and the dream. All right. Yeah. All right, so now we're heading into Europa. Yeah, the wine glass. It's a fun logo. Oh, you're looking at that. So the first place we're going to check out is La Piazza, which is kind of a French theme. It's a nice, <laughs> a nice place to catch a drink. And they like to play music over here on the left. But this is definitely a French theme. So we came in from that direction into La Piazza, which is the bar, and Jen found a Vespa. You wanna get in? <laughs> uh, not with you driving. <laughs> and then right next to La Piazza is O'Gill's Pub, which is where they do a lot of trivia games too. It's a great place to catch a game. Yeah, it's like an Irish bar, or Irish pub, I should say. So now we're going to continue on. The Vespa was back that way with O'Gill's Pub. We're going to continue going forward. 
and to the left you have Ooh La La, oh, which is the champagne bar. Is this shit me or what? It screams Jen. It's very elegant. <laughs> it's very pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. It goes on for quite a while. Like, yeah, it goes back a little bit. You got a piano here for live music. Those are some fancy chairs. And I just completely got fooled. I thought this was a pathway. It's, wow. No, it's a mirror. That's me. Or someone who looks just like me. I don't know. So now we're going to leave Ooh -la, La. Sorry, Ooh -la, La. That's La Piazza. Sometimes they have hors d'oeuvres out here in the evening. Yeah. And now we're going to go this way. And this maze over here is actually the restrooms. And they've got some really nice restrooms in here, too. They look the doors just look cool. Like it looks like a pub. We're going to zigzag. <laughs> to get you a point of reference, we kind of gone through all of this at this point. We're working our way toward the aft of the ship. And now we've only got two more places to check out. The Tube and Skyline Lounge. So we're going to check out the Tube, which is an English subway theme. This is where most of the adults enter. I love how they have Big Ben kind of... <laughs> That's cool. This is a cool spot. I like this spot. This is a cool lounge. So I'm going to say that this is way cooler than the one that they have on the Dream. Yeah. I love this theme. This is total Beatles like <laughs> supposed to be like London themed this is where they're gonna have this is where they're gonna have all the crazy activities for the adults at night dance parties and whatnot but this is this is actually really neat I love this lighting this lighting is really gnarly that's pretty fun all right I'm gonna hang out here all the time but now we're gonna go ahead and check out Skyline Lounge which is one of the cooler lounges here because it actually has LCD monitors, 4K. Is this open? Oh, there we go. Yeah. So now we are in Skyline Lounge, which you've got 4K monitors that make it seem like you're looking out a window into a city. And sometimes there's actually little Easter eggs in like the windows. So keep your eyes peeled in the windows. Let's see if there's anything exciting. That is correct. They do have drinks. Mickey. There's Mickey. Oh man, I could just stare at this all day. So judging by the British flag, I would say that we're probably in England and London right now. But they change every few minutes, and the drinks change theme to represent what's being shown outside. Pretty cool. Ready to go up a level? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to... I could stare at that all Yeah, I know, right? Now we're in the aft elevators. And we're going to head up to the next level. Level 5. Okay, we are now on the fifth deck. Look, we're looking the lobby, the atrium. We are at midship, so the midship elevators are right here. We are actually going to head to the forward side and see if there's anything this way. Check it out. We're going to go on the port side. where you've got Port Adventures, right there. But we're gonna go this way. So now we are on port side, which is the captain's left, heading to the forward. And this is where the, oh, hidden Mickeys on the ground. Everywhere, even on the wall. Yeah. So right here is the Buena Vista Theater balcony. Let's check it out. This is where the theater is, the movie theater. 
we came in from down there earlier to check it out, so we've already seen this. Okay, so straight ahead is the Port Adventures on Deck 5 on the port side. We're going to continue heading toward the aft of the ship. It's starting to fill up on the ship now. There's more Port Adventures. Good thing we've got those already booked. Jamaica. We're headed there. We'll see you there, Goof. So we are headed toward the aft of the ship. Now this is where things are going to get crazy because this is where the kids clubs are. So you've got It's a Small World for the really, really tiny children. Little babies. And then straight this way, we're going to head to the kids club. So now we're heading in the Oceaneer Club, which is for the kids. But we get an opportunity to see it because it is open house. So you got Andy's room. That's fun. The RC car. Mr. Potato Head and a big ham. Something tells me this thing comes to life in some... Oh, oh I knew hi, it! Woody. And then you've got... Rex is in jail. Aww. That's pretty fun. And the kids get to draw on the walls. Oh, the green aliens. That's cute. So now... We are headed over to, what is this? Star Wars. Star Wars. Nice Star Wars. Yeah, some command console. Some 3D Star Wars thing. You can turn dials. I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm even doing anything at all. You can fly things. That's pretty cool. And you got this really wacky floor. It's really fun. And we're going into the Marvel Superhero Academy. Okay, can I just stay here the entire, oh my God. Sanctum Sectorum. This is freaking cool. Look at all the books and the spells. I love this. Can I just have a cruise ship that's just this? Wow. Superhero Academy. The Mystic Arts. <laughs> and they got all the different windows, just like the Sanctum Sanctorum. That is freaking cool. So we've got Asgard here. Some ocean. And this looks like Asia? And this definitely has some interactive element to it. You can tell because of the Xbox uh, recorders right there. That is freaking cool. Pretty neat. Hey, Jen. I took one. Oh, you already took one? You already took one? Sure <laughs> and all sorts of swords. That is cool. Some really cool relics. Some neat relics. Oh, I see. Black Panther's mask. What do you think? Is that the Tesseract? That's not a very safe place to keep an Infinity Stone. You got Ant-Man. There you go. Mystic Arts. Oh, I see they're getting set up for a bunch of Milners. All the kids are gonna have a bunch of Milners. I know. Can I say that was one of the coolest parts of the entire ship? Yeah. Was the Marvel superhero headquarters. If there's any open houses and it's like kid stuff, I'm still going. And oh it's Doctor gosh. Strange or Marvel. like if I was a kid, I would be going crazy in yeah. that area right now. That's the only spot I would be at. Like. But no, we gotta stick to the adult. Which is still good. Yeah, that's still pretty awesome. So this is the Oceaneer Lab. This is kind of their arts and craft area. And it's on the starboard side midship. Oh, Moana. Oh, Moana. The ship just knows me. Yeah. Let's go this way. So this is the Oceaneer Lab. You got some animator studio where you can learn to draw or trace. And now we've got the explorer's room where you can pilot 
the Disney fantasy. Full steam ahead. Let's hit buttons. I don't know what that did. I don't think she goes full steam right away. No. Well, so what happens when you get out here? You just go straight? I don't know. That's not real fun. So I'd be that nerd that would just be playing that all day. Yeah, you would. Live action. Ooh, live action Beauty and the Beast. How comfy is that, Jen? Sit on it, sit on it. How comfy is it? Just, just go straight onto it. Jump on it. Oh, that's very graceful. That's no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so once you leave, you go back out this way. But before you go, you have to wash your hands. Cleanliness is important on the cruise ship. So you just stick your hands in, and it uses soap, and it washes it for you. It says, washing your hands. Wash cycle complete. Now you gotta get your paper towels. And now you're officially clean. I feel the cleanest when I wash my hands here. Yeah. It's very refreshing. I'm too tall. <laughs> you are very tall for this. I'm bending over. <laughs> so we're back in midship atrium. The aft is that way and the forward is this way, but one place we didn't check out because we went that way to the Port Adventures and then checked out the Oceaneers uh, Lab and Oceaneer Club. We're actually going to go on this side now which is the starboard side, or the captain's right-hand side, uh, to check out the Bippity Boppity Boutique, which is open on the fifth floor. So we're gonna go check it out. So now the atrium is back this way, and this is Bippity Boppity Boutique, but that's the exit, so we're gonna go this way instead. Bippity Boppity Boutique. Right. So we're actually going to check out the Senses Spa. <laughs> Just the barber shop. And I've got a juice bar next to the fitness. Overlooking what will be the ocean. And then we've got the fitness center right here with complimentary water. It's open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Overlooking the starboard side of the ship. So they got a youth spawn left it looks like down that hallway. And then we're going to the rainforest room on the right. So this is the rainforest room. Tropical thunder. <laughs> And the sauna. <laughs> There's the sauna overlooking the outside. <laughs> Feel the sauna. <laughs> Is it warm? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Didn't think I would like that in the heat. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Oh, that's cool. I know, right? <sighs> yeah, it's not normally a port. <laughs> Very cool. Now that's a view. So now we're gonna go check out the couple's choice. The 
treatment rooms on the left up there. These comfy chairs, the lounge area. Quiet, please. This is the couple's villa. choice for the massage bamboo or cardstone or deep tissue. Um, you will, first of all, when you come here, you are going to have a fit tradition, the traditional fit outside. Uh, like you are, we are going to scrub your feet, and also like uh, you have uh, uh, enjoy. You have to enjoy like uh, 15 minutes and 20 minutes on jacuzzi, oh, and then you are going to have massage. And after the massage, you have a tree. Oh, no, sorry, tea ceremony. Oh. oh. Yes. That's so nice. Oh, this is so nice. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at this. I know, right? Place for two person. Yeah. That's cool. Two pillars and fifteen. So now we are at Quiet Cove, which inside there was the census spa for the forward part of the ship. So we're on forward deck 11, looking out at Quiet Cove, the adult area. Let's check it out. So right next to Quiet Cove is Cove Cafe where you can get some really good coffee and refreshments and snacks. The snacks are complimentary, but the coffee is not. That you have to pay extra for. They got some really cool stuff in here. And at any point, you can actually see the weather, satellite, and the speed. So it'll We've got the same feed in our room, so in our stateroom, it'll tell you where all the ships are located. It'll show you where our ship's supposed to go and the speed of all the ships. So the Wonder right now is moving about 22 miles an hour, 23 miles an hour. And see, there we are here, going south to Cozumel. So you've got the Cove Cafe. These are so these are all complimentary. What do we got? Oh, that does look good. I'm about to come back. <laughs> oh, I'm not hungry at all. And then this is Flo's Cafe. We are on the starboard side. This is where you're going to get a lot of your snacks next to the pool. This is where you'll get your cheeseburgers and pizzas. They got fish burgers right now, spicy chicken burgers. And then over here is the kids pool. And on the kids pool side, there's a big screen right here that plays mo Disney movies and it's called Funnel Vision. And then this is where they're gonna be doing drinks. This is where you get your free refills on your drinks. Sodas, water, it's all complimentary. And then off to the side of the kids' pool, you've got the jacuzzi, which is crazy because it actually looks all the way down the side of the ship. And then you've got the kids' slide with Mickey's hand. You go up to the top and they ride it all the way down, down to the bottom. And right over here is Nemo's Reef. And that's where the little kids play. It's like a water little play area. There's Nemo's Reef, and we're gonna head toward the aft of the ship where Cabana's is at. Off to the side is Sweet on You, which is like a little gelato shop. Aw, Mickey and Minnie. some fun looking ice cream gelato and all this comes with an additional charge this is not complimentary and now we're in cabanas so cabanas is the buffet located on deck 11 in the aft of the ship 
This is typically where you would find your breakfast food, right here on the right hand side. They're currently not serving breakfast. They also serve lunch here too, and even dinner. Really cool mural on the wall. And there's Nemo and Squirt. That is one frightened fish. Ah, people are on board. This is where they would be preparing food with quite the view. It looks like they're getting ready for like a dinner. They typically don't have the silverware out like this. No, that is weird. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's for dinner. But yeah, this cabanas goes around the whole aft of the ship. Coming around the port side and the aft. This is your hand washing station where you wash your hands. They got complimentary wipes as well. But now we're coming back to the family pool deck. Nemo's Reef is on the right hand side. We came up the other way on the other side. So now we're going to go straight all the way back and then go up to level 12. So before we head up to level 12, we are about midship on the port side and you've got the ice cream. So this is where they have the frozen yogurt, ice cream treats, and smoothies on the right hand side. So off to the right of ice cream on deck 11 is a small store called, called Who's It's and What's It's. Now it's closed because we're at port right now, but if you're missing sunscreen or flip flops or something like that, towels, I guess they don't have towels, they got sunglasses. You can purchase those at Who's It's and What's It's. Do they? Oh yeah, they do have little towels. They that's true. It, so. But anyway, that's who's it's and what's it's. Now we're headed back to the 18 and older section. Oh, the swan. And there's Cove Cafe, which we just went in earlier. Now we're going to go up those steps up to level 12. So now we're up on level 12. And we're going to walk around level 12 for a little bit. We're going to go left around the corner. And there's the big old funnel. And this area right here is a little splash pad. This is family area. So an easy way to figure out where you're at. The adult section has beige chairs. The family area has these blue chairs. So anywhere with a blue chair is a designated family area, which you'll see down in the area over here. All of them are blue. And the adult area is all beige, which was back the other way. This is the aqueduct, this slide. The aqueduct goes around the entire midship area on the 13th level. You can see them going through there. They'll go around through the funnel and then back this way and then empty out on deck 12. So there's that slide that we saw from deck 11, and that is the entrance to the aqueduct that'll take you up to the top and then go around. And there's a look at funnel vision up at the front there. So this is the stairs leading up the aqueduct all the way up to the slide, which is right there, right there, and they launch you, and you go all the way around and out. Where we're coming around the corner here is the Aqua Lab. So this is kind of like a kid's playground, but not for little, little kids. And there's some different things, different effects, whatever you do, you can plug the leaky pipes and more water sprays out elsewhere. It's fun for the kids. Another look at the Aqua Duck. All right, now we're gonna go check out Waves Bar, which is off to the side here. So this is Waves Bar back here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're tucked away back on the side there. Yeah, it's very hidden. So you can tell by the Ratatouille picture that we are close to Paolo and Remy, which is on deck 12 aft of the ship. So we're back here. So we'll visit Meridian, Paolo, and Remy. 
So this is Meridian Bar. Oh wow, we got a nice view back here. Mm-hmm. Out the back. Smoking section. Mm-hmm. That's the smoking area. Out there. It's very nice. Yeah. It's over here. Very nice. Now, Paolo's closed right now, but that's where Paolo is. Back there. Mm hmm. And over here is Remy. Now, Remy is only exclusive on the Dream class ship, so that would be the Dream and the Fantasy. Paolo is on all of them. Alright, now we're gonna go to deck 13 which is right up here. This is the highest level accessible to everyone. Then there's Edge, but we'll get to that in a second. So there's the Aqua Lab, and then right here is the actual only funnel, active funnel, on the entire cruise ship. The other funnel is actually a decoy. That's where Edge is at. And we'll go check out Edge, that's the teen club. We'll go check that out later, but right now, this is the sports deck on deck 13. This is where you can go play basketball. Right there, like that guy's doing. And they've also got mini golf. We actually went the opposite way. Yes, so Jen pointed this out, and I didn't see this on the Dream, so maybe it's new, but it's a bottle filler. All right, so now this is nine holes of mini golf. And they wrap around the aft of the ship. Top floor, floor 13. And you've got, to kind of put it in perspective, you've got Max here, which is the easier one, and I guess Goofy is the harder one for the adults. I don't know, they both look equally difficult or easy, depending on how good you are. Oh, is that how that goes? Yeah. So Max is the correct way to do it. Goofy's taking the Goofy method yeah. of getting there. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense, because this definitely explains it. Max banks the shot. Goofy decides to go off one to the other to the other. Yeah, that, that, that makes more sense. So now, looking back toward the aft, heading to the forward, you got Current's Bar. And the smoking section. Then we're heading to Satellite Falls where I think we'll probably hang out for a few hours. Alright, we are on deck 12 midship and we're gonna go up to deck 13 where Edge is located. So Edge is located right here with a big sign that says Edge. And we, yeah, we are actually in one of the funnels. One of the inactive funnels that's been turned into a team place. We got Wally and Eve all the way up at the top. Let's check out Edge. 11 to 14. 11 to 14 year olds come here in this loft style hangout. That's fun. Hello. And they've got some games, Xbox, high def screens. And right out there is the o Outlook. So we're inside the funnel, and that's actually the aqueduct. That's the portion that goes through the actual funnel. So that aqueduct that we saw on the outside cuts through the middle of the vibe. Or edge. Cuts through the middle of edge. That's really cool. Alrighty. So directly above edge, up these staircases, we've got the radio studio on the left which I'm not 100% sure exactly what that is. I, I really don't know. And then right here is Outlook. And Outlook is currently closed for private function, but if I get close, you can actually hear the piano playing. I don't know what it is, but it sounds cool. Well, there you have it. That's a full and complete walkthrough of the Disney Fantasy. Uh, hopefully you liked the fact that you were able to kind of follow around with the deck plan uh, where I was walking at the time. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, if 
If you have any comments, leave the comments down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe because we got a lot of cool things that we do in and around Walt Disney World, the theme parks in Orlando. And the rest and, of the cruise. Yeah, and the rest of the cruise as well. All right, bye.